This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this floral text effect using GIMP. And if you'd like to update GIMP with these new icons in this uh, more modern interface, I'll have a link to that information in the description of the video. I'll also have a link to this uh, floral image in the background as well if you'd like to use this exact image to follow along with this tutorial. So go ahead and open up that image or a similar image with GIMP. And the first thing I'm going to do is put some text over the flowers right here like you see in the thumbnail. I use the letters GI uh, for GIMP. So I'm just going to grab the text tool. Uh, I'm going to flip the foreground and the background around so it uses white as the text color. And I'm just going to click on the canvas and I'm just going to write um, GI like that. And you're going to want to change the size of the text over here uh, according to the size of your image. Uh, mine's already at a decent size because I was doing this previously. The font I'm going to use is called Acre. You could use any kind of sans font or any font you'd like really should work uh, just fine. So uh, once you've created your text, I'm going to grab the Move tool. And I'm just going to position this over the flowers like that. Uh, somewhere, somewhere like relatively in the center. It doesn't have to be precise, but just somewhere, uh, you know, pretty close. And once we've done that, I'm going to create a new layer by coming over here to this icon that says uh, create a new layer and add it to the image. And I'm going to choose transparency and go ahead and click OK. And on that new layer, I'm going to create this little frame here that you see, that white frame. So to do that, I'll grab the uh, rectangle select tool. And I'm going to put the cursor towards the center of the flowers and I'm just gonna click and drag and then once I start clicking and dragging it's gonna create a box and then I'll hold control and shift and it's gonna start creating a perfectly symmetrical square going from the uh, center of where I originally clicked and I want to size this thing so that it's um, a little bit smaller than the flowers the edge of the flowers because we're, we're gonna want the flowers and the leaves to be going over the edge of it so something about that size should be pretty good and I'm gonna go ahead and press enter to create a selection of that and I'll go to edit uh, stroke selection and what I want to do now is I'm gonna create a line uh, otherwise known as a stroke and I'm gonna use the line width I'm just gonna start out with 50 and see how that looks I'll go ahead and click stroke and that looks pretty good right there you generally you generally want the line to be the, the about the same thickness as your letters here in order for it to uh, really work well and if it doesn't end up as well as you'd like you could just undo it by hitting control Z and you could try it again I'll go to edit stroke selection and you could try a different size. Uh, the 50 pixels worked fine for me so I'm going to go ahead and leave that as it is. And what I want to do now is go to select none and then I'll go to layer and auto crop. Auto crop layer. That's going to change the layer so that it's the same size as this selection here. And once we've done that we can click on the text, grab the move tool and just readjust that so that it's centered up within, uh, it's centered up inside that box there. Right there is pretty good. And what I want to do now is I want to click on our original layer up here, this frame. And I want to bring the opacity down about maybe to like 37%. And I want to zoom in over these areas right here. I want to erase the area where these, where these leaves are going over. So to do that, I'll grab the eraser tool. And I'm going to bring the brush size down. For the, for the brush hardness, I'm going to use this one over here, which is the uh, is hardness 075. And I'm going to make that a little smaller. You can make it smaller using the bracket keys. I'm going to use the left bracket key and hit that a few times to shrink that down. And I want to create the appearance that these leaves are going over the frame. So I'm just going to erase that part of the frame where the edge of the leaves are like that. I'll go ahead and erase that out of there. And I'll bring this, you're going to have to adjust the opacity uh, several times throughout the course of this so you can get a, a good sense of where the, uh, the boundaries are for the leaves. So um, that's one thing you'll have to keep in mind when you're doing this. I'm just going to go ahead and erase this. I'm going to have these leaves overlapping as well. Let me make this a little smaller. Again, using the left bracket key to shrink the, shrink the brush size. I'll erase that area out just like that. I'll move that area out of there and I'll go through here and erase this out as well. If you go a little into the edge, you could just come out here and hold Alt and uh, just click and drag while pressing Alt and that'll fill it back in, just like that. And to zoom in and out, I'm just holding Control and rolling up and down the mouse wheel. Let me fill in a little more of that. And I'll just erase this area as well over here. And what I'll do now is I'm just going to zoom out and I'm going to bring the opacity all the way up so you can see what happened there. We, we erase that area out so it looks like the leaves are going over 
the frame there. Now I did it pretty quick. You could actually be, you could actually take your time and be a little more precise with it, like I did with uh, my thumbnail here. But um, that's just to give you an idea. Let me bring the opacity of that back down, and I'm gonna put some more leaves and some of the flowers going over the frame. But you have to be uh, careful with which ones you choose. Like if I choose this one back here, this leaf is kind of blurry. It's out of focus, so it wouldn't really make sense to have it overlapping this frame here. Uh, I want the ones that are like closest to the, uh, I guess you could say the camera or the person taking the picture. I want those ones to be on top. So I'm going to erase this area out and have these leaves going on top as well. And I'll go ahead and speed this up because this would otherwise take a, a long time for you to sit here and watch. Okay, so as you can see, I erased out the area where those leaves are. So I have those leaves overlapping, and I have these leaves going under the frame. And I just think it, it, it just makes for a nicer appearance when it looks like you have some coming in and some coming out. Like it's uh, like the entire thing is interwoven with the frame itself. And I'm just going to go through here and, and remove some more of this area. And I'm just going to bring the opacity down so I can see what to remove down here. And I'll zoom in. Like, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this over here because as you can see, these leaves and this flower is kind of out of focus. So it wouldn't really look right if I were to erase that area of the, uh, of the frame. So um, let me come over here. Maybe I'll do this one over here with these, uh, these flower petals. I'll just come around the edge here and just erase that out. And I'll do the same thing over here. I'll erase this leaf. Oops. Again, you could just hit Control Z if you want to undo anything like I just did. Like if you go a little too far into the edge, which you probably will do a few times if you do this for any extended period of time. I'll go ahead and erase this edge out. I want this leaf to be overlapping the frame. Just erase that out. And I also want... I want the rest of this over here and all of this to be overlapping. So I'm just going to go ahead and create... Uh, or erase actually this segment out and then everything from this boundary over here to over here can be erased and I'm just going to bring the size of that up and just go ahead and do that to make this quicker let me shrink that down a little more and let me zoom out and bring the opacity up and as you can see, it looks like these flowers and this rose and this, this leaf is overlapping the selection here. And maybe I'll do the same thing over here with the tip of this leaf. I'll shrink that brush down a lot more in order to really zero in on the tip of that leaf right there. Do something like that. And I'll make this a little bigger, again, using the bracket keys to make this really quick and easy. Erase this out, and yours is not going to come out exactly as mine is because um, uh, it, because of where we placed the frame that we created here. I, I placed this frame. It, it, really, the size and the position of the frame is going to di uh, dictate which areas of the frame you're erasing. So, um, it, don't be surprised if yours doesn't look precisely like mine does. Let me bring the opacity up and zoom out. And that looks pretty good there. I think I will leave that as it is. I think that's a good amount of um, dimension for the, uh, for, the, for the bouquet of flowers. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do the same thing to the text here. I'm going to click on the text layer. And let me zoom in on this. Let me bring the opacity of that down. And I'll grab the eraser tool. And I'll go ahead and erase out these flower petals. Oops, I went a little too far with that one. Erase this one out over here and do the same and since this entire flower is going over the rest of the G I'm just gonna erase the rest of that G right there and let me zoom out and I'm gonna go ahead and cut out this area over here so that these little um, these little flowers these little buds are going over it and I'll go ahead and speed that up so you don't have to sit there and watch me uh, take all the time it takes to do that Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, you have to be really careful about which 
um, which items you choose to uh, have overlapping the text because sometimes it just it doesn't look right like for this down here this kind of has like a shadow on it and it doesn't really make sense for that to be there so I'm just gonna hold alt and brush that back in and get rid of that selection let me come over here let me shrink this brush down a little more maybe I'll paint some of this back in as well some of this is um, showing through when it just doesn't it just doesn't look right paint that back in and then one more thing would be to do the um, the letter I over here so I'll bring the opacity of this down and I'll maybe put this flower petal above the letter I over here and again I'll speed this up and I'll catch up with you when I'm done okay so as you can see I finished up everything here I think that right there would be a pretty good uh, spot to leave things you don't want to erase out everything to the point where like you can't read the letters I think with here this is a nice balance between being able to read that this is the letters G and I and also having the flowers showing through some of the design so one final step would be to change the curves of the colors if you notice here in the thumbnail it looks different it has more of like a faded that sort of kind of trendy Instagram filter sort of look so to do that I'm actually going to click on this top layer, then I'll right click it and I'll go to new from visible. That's going to create an entirely new layer using everything that's visible. And with that, I'm going to go to colors and curves. And I'm going to take this bottom node down here. I'm just going to bring that up a little bit. And you're going to notice the image changing as you do this. I'm going to bring this node up a little bit. And I'll take this line over here and I'll just bring that down towards that diagonal line a little more like that. Maybe something like that. Maybe I'll bring this up a little more just to, lighten, just to lighten up the shadows. And if you want to see the difference, you could just toggle the preview off and on. And you could see that's what it originally looked like. And that's what it looks like now. I kind of like how this looks better. So I'm going to go ahead and finalize that and click OK. And that should pretty much do it for this tutorial. That's how you can go about creating this floral text effect using GIMP. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.